We're on to our campaign now. The uh, team from the Super Morning Show uh, on Joy FM and uh, the AM show are coming to you from Lekma Hospital today. We're putting the spotlight in terms of our campaign to get the roads in the municipality fixed. Roland Walker uh, is somewhere close to the Lekma Hospital. He joins me live. Uh, Roland, where exactly are you uh, and what's happening? Uh, I'm right in front of the Lekma Hospital. It's just a junction. Uh, well, it's not really like a junction. It's supposed to be ideally, if the road was constructed, uh, an access way kind of, uh, a turning that will lead you to the hospital. Well, we're giving you a comprehensive um, view of what a hospital currently is like. Where We're also having Joy FM also here. It's a great collaboration we're having to ensure that the sentiments of citizens are really advocated mm. but so far it's been so good we've been having some on the side interactions of the record interaction with some of the residents uh, and, and and so far that's what it is this road it's it, it, it's stretching towards the sprinters road they call it the manager junction and it's about 7.5 kilometers long just 7.5, somebody would say, that is if you're into construction. But it, it, it's a concern for the residents, but also those who tend to ply the road. And I have to tell you, what the statistics are indicating, we have between 250,000 and 500,000 residents within the Lojokuku area who ply this route every day. And then additional... 500,000, I should say every year, uh, as it is, uh, 500,000, making about 1 million people who ply this route. And the extra 500,000, they don't live in the community. They are living on the Sprinters Road, areas like Sakumono, um, Ashaiman, you know, Ajelkwejo, where I live, and Lashibi, etc. But I would want to have an interaction with the busy drivers, commercial drivers of the trotters we have, and uh, get to have your feeling before we hand it over to you. Good morning. Uh, Tete. Uh, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine. Okay. Um, please, can you leave the so that I have my camera um, go to the side? Okay. Uh, and uh, I see that you are frustrated with the road. Now, and, and the sentiment is the same. The reactions are the same. The response is the same. What he's saying is that it's the same every time that he has to access or apply the route. There are times that um, sometimes they want to bring people who are sick, could be pregnant women, etc., to the hospital. This very hospital and they can't access it as quickly as possible for the emergencies. Well, but I say, but it's the responses we're having each time we speak to these passengers, these residents, and just adjourning the areas, finding that there are food vendors, food vendors who are around these areas adjourning, adjourning the route. Now, it's a, it's a concern for even the hospital authorities because oftentimes you find that many of these residents close by, those who are producing food tend to have respiratory tract infections, RTIs, constantly also accessing health care at the Lejokuku Hospital, LECMA. The Lekma Hospital, as they call it. Well, so Mamavi, that'll be it. That, that, that's just um, what observations so far we have. We intend having some great discussions, some discussions with the Metropolitan or Municipal Chief Executive, the opinion leaders, the resident association presidents, members of the resident association, and just normal people who access this route every day. All right, that's Roland Walker coming to you live from uh, the road right in front of the Lekma Hospital. We've got a full-blown conversation with authorities of the hospital and some residents uh, from uh, this particular municipality. But here's the story so far as we've told it 
on Joe News. We kept having all these messages on our console that the state of the road was a concern for you, the residents, and even for those of you who necessarily may not be residing here but always ply this road. Is that true? It has been our major concern. This thing has been seriously communicated to our MP and the Assembly, and we yet haven't seen any serious work being done on this road. In fact, it is a serious worry to us, and we are even getting to the nerve that if the government doesn't take care, there will be a serious demonstration, more than what they even did in Accra at Kumi Preku, concerning Teshi on this particular road. You mean the Kumi and Preku? Kumi and Preku. You, well, you also supported that demonstration? In fact, I, I don't want to go political, but I'm telling you that if this road is not fixed, then the, uh, the government should be ready to, for a serious demonstration. Despite all these difficulties, all of you would have to apply it anyway. Why? Why is that? Of course. That's where we reside. Well, Okay. So no matter what you do, you have to use the road. Every one month, I've been going to change my shocks at that my car. And that's your car? That's my car. Every month, I've been changing the shocks. As I'm talking to you, Rana, my, my lower amp is making noise because of the Which amp? My lower amp. Lower amp? Yeah, it's making noise. But I'm waiting when the rain finishes before I'll, I'll go and fix it. But the road here, my brother, ain't you clear? At all. And Okoboy, last two weeks, we wanted to do demonstration. If you say Okoboy, you mean the MP? The MP wanted to do demonstration. But, 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 I, but, but I, I know him personally. He's a good man. Of course, he's a good man. But how come he's not able to fix the road? Well, you know MPs don't fix roads. Don't you know that? He promised, us, he promised us that when we, we, when we vote him into power, he will fix the road. Up to now, the road has not been fixed. I find that a bit difficult. You know, MPs generally don't fix My roads. Brother, but they use this road as a campaign, and that is why we voted Oko power, Oko, Oko, Oko boy to power. And up to now, he has not been able to fix the road. So who would I blame? I will not blame uh, uh, Kufa. Uh, Kufa didn't come here. It's Oko boy who came here to come and do campaign. That if you vote him into power, he will do the road. Uh, it looks like our presence here has resulted uh, uh, to, to more anger. And, and, and there seem to be more, more agitations, especially for, for any passengers. Oko boy, Oko boy, Oko it's not the fault of Okoboy, it's who? It's who? Oh, but the MP is not responsible Who's for constructing roads. Ah, which MP? MP is not responsible for constructing roads. If you talk to us, 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 if you talk to you are also worried about the where, where, where does this lead us? It leads us to the I can say this road is three different routes. We get one going to the, the railway line, we get the middle one going to I can say Obo. You know Obo. Then we get the other one too to the you know FedEx. And that place, oh the road is Ooh, very terrible, bad, very bad, very terrible. Bad, bad, bad. But uh, there was something you guys were telling me that you constantly, almost every week or two weeks or a month, you have to go to Abuso kind to have your shocks. Uh, uh, that's unbelievable. Is that true? Yeah, it's true. Recently, I go buy my shocks about say roughly three weeks now. But then when you sit inside to the, to nearby places, you see, say it's too rough. You see, they make. And that's Roland Walker interacting with a driver a bit earlier in the week. Uh, they sharing their frustrations with how regularly their vehicles break down because of the poor nature of the roads. Back to Roland, this time interacting with people uh, who have businesses along the stretch. Over to you, Roland. Well, thank you, Mamavi. Again, let me just run by you where we are. When we're just uh, close by, just a few meters away from the Lekma Hospital. It's a major referral hospital for, let's say, 500,000 people within the Lejokuku area and an, an extra 500,000 number who are in adjoining communities like the Spintest Road. And um, we have a couple of them also uh, just around Lashibi, Ashaiman even, Tashi and many of those areas. Uh, even Tetekwashi. Now, we still could see the hospital frontages or the main hospital from here. So this is where we, we are. We're doing this with Joy FM. 
and we're making sure that we bring the conversation to your doorstep. Make sure that on Facebook, you touch base with us. So Facebook, Join News on TV. We also have uh, an interactive handle on Twitter, at Join News on TV, and also you can watch us live on YouTube through the channel, Major Online TV. But on Joy FM, um, you can also tweet at them, Joy 997. Just go also go look for their page on Facebook, Joy 997, all available. Not easy uh, for many people who may not have access to data, but for those who have, please make sure you do that. Um, very, very quick for you to have all those things and ensure that you do the interactions. This is what we want to do. We want to interact with the vendors, uh, those who are selling, let me uh, first try and um, go to somebody who is selling for residents, but also for the n normal daily commuters in the morning, who tend to have the time to take in something before they go to work. And we have hundreds of them who have to come and take trotro just uh, in front of me, make sure that they also uh, have something to eat. And this one is what they call aboboy or no yokegari yokegari and i want to interact with um um my my mother i should say okay um mary o mobari mariega obariega tete bro mo o yin mi uh huh o fa ni mi jo gbe i told me ajoko mensa ajoko anti ajoko o fa ni no manya ma chebo anti ajoko o fa ni na kan ni ni ke o kwe gbe ni bo hu Oh, your kegari can it be a thing? Yeah, be a mini problem. No, nay, be an ele or nagba wagi mulu a fat neighbor no hospital. Let bank a wall signing benanya fia or panana fi. I can help one more the baker be named for my bar about interview of me. She can't hear all na improvement. Go ye or I feel a little on palafi ever quay. Nephew be our mulu a fat. Can you born in Lenny look of you, Mokla? No, me, Nimba, be and so basically, I was just asking her, um, what were the difficulties she was facing, knowing that uh, she cooks food, especially just uh, close by. There's a lot of dust. Many people, according to the health practitioners within the hospital we've spoken to, say that they tend to have respiratory tract infections recorded for the attendant cases or the OPD cases usually. Uh, so I also want to have a taste of the food. Uh, because, you know, just I could be a commuter, even though I don't live around here, I could be a commuter. So I just want a bit of Ante Ajoko uh, to give me a, a, a bit of the food. And, and I see that. No, me no, yo, yeah, I'm asking her what she has by way of uh, the food. This, this, Yoke, Yoke Gali. Dabo boy. Dabo boy. And so I want a bit of the food too. You know, sometimes you have to empathize with the stories that we tend to do. And that is what we do here at Joy News. We want to make sure So, you know, we have people who have to eat this before they go to work. But as they are doing that, as they are doing that, they also have to be inhaling dust. Already, there's dust that is already settling on the food. And, you know, what I'm at the food. So, uh, you know, for people who would have to go through this, it would also know. I'm asking you, how much is this? Find two cities. In two cities. Hey. You know, uh -huh. So that's how we, we do it local. So she went to dump. And, you know, sometimes you have to do all this to make sure that y y you, you, you also tend to feel what normal people feel. Mm. It's not bad. Mm. The wall can mean you need any um dust can you be a thing is settling on it. I think it's a problem, a logic problem. We're not bagbo. Now bagbo ka ye ni bo ni mulu e ba e a on to wa. E wa ba koko na fe ya wo pa na na fa. Ni sometimes them onu pa me akenye ba wi o. And He's appealing to the president to make sure this is done. I'm asking him whether, you know, we have the big men, the MC, the MPs, etc., coming to speak to them. I can you buy you. I can 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 buy
I just station say like my favorite to my one month na je obonu o tv na ba la ba kwa interview me she still e o na no ko am ba tu no go bi bio ye na mete ya me fe no go don anta jo ko ra don o fa de yo o fa na nka chika ba ba unu o fa de yo ga ni ba yo ta she's going to cover it for me and then ultimately we'll get to see um, what it is but if you speak to the residents you also get to find that many of them are having some difficulties with the way the situation is and as a result of that uh, would also so Roland Walker there uh, taking advantage of Fix Lekma now to get some uh, beans to eat this morning. It's going to be a long day, uh, as you can imagine. Uh, we're there live at Lekma Hospital with uh, our team. It's a combination, the AM show and the Super Morning Show on Joy FM. And our focus really is to bring the campaign home to get authorities to fix the road. It's been a lot of back and forth. Uh, a, you know, a lot of back and forth uh, with this issue of fixing the road and we're still nowhere really. So today we're trying to find some real answers and solutions uh, to this road which links to a major health facility and we've heard st uh, various stories about how uh, people either have died or their conditions have worsened on their way to the hospital. Here's uh, the host of the Super Morning Show, Daniel Datsy's report from the municipality. Join us on all our social media platforms with the hashtag FixLekma now. It's a dusty ride and it's a bumpy ride here on the road stretching from Manet's near Spintex to the Lekma Hospital and running through to Labadi. I can hardly hear myself through the noise of the motor king or the tricycle which I'm sitting behind. For the thousands of residents of the area who are to use this route to access Accra, this is a usual occurrence, though of course they are often sitting in the comforts of a vehicle. They say they've spoken to authorities repeatedly over the years and they've just about had enough. We have complained about this issue to government, but nothing has been done about it. Our MP came here during elections. He campaigned about this road. Our MP promised to fix the roads for us, but after elections, nothing has been done. All the roads linking to other parts of the communities are all in bad state. Just take a look at me. I'm even sick. We plead that they do something about this. Do we vote for MPP for because of this? We didn't want, because the NDC couldn't do anything about it. And it has been there for some time, and then we, we thought if the MPP comes to power, they'll do this thing for us. And we voted for them. And look, at the end of the NDC reign, all the contractors, the Chinese came and collected all their things. We've spoken about this several times. It's like nobody wants to do anything. Nobody cares about it. And those that have a little cars around, today you'll be running on this road, tomorrow you are at a shop. I mean, it looks as if this place is not part of Ghana. The frustration of residents and road users is obvious. And one might think, that looking at the condition of this road, it may be justified. Even more worrying is the existence of this health installation, the Lekma Hospital, on this very stretch. One would wonder what a drive or a ride to this hospital for a pregnant woman may be. Daniel Dazid, Joy News, Teshi.
We'll take you back to Roland Walker live from the Lekma Hospital. The drivers or even those who are riding trotro and many of the tens of people who are using this road take some commercial vehicles and, and go to and go to work. Now, if you take a look at the state of the road, you get to find that there's particularly defaced asphalt of the road that is just in front of the Lekma Hospital. It's defaced so much so that, that constantly the vehicles that would have to get access to the hospital would have to slow down in such a way that it delays the time that they have to reach the hospital. We had earlier discussions with some personnel who said that residents and even those visiting OPD of Lekma Hospital usually will have to be diagnosed with respiratory tract infections. I will speak to a number of um, the residents and those who are visiting here to get to know um, what they think and feel about the current state of the road. It's a situation I know that we all will be concerned about, but it's also a situation in which at the end of the day, we also have to um, critically examine and make a decision. What do we have to do as a people? The residents are here. Those who are concerned are here. Those who are visiting the hospital are here. I would want to speak to a number of them. Good morning. What's your name? Good morning. I'm Edward. Edward. Where do you live? I live in Camp 2 Junction. Camp 2. Yes. Are you a soldier? What do you do? No, I'm, uh, I work in the laundry. Okay. That, and uh, what, what, what's, your, what's your objective here? What are you coming to do here? I brought my son here. Your son? Yes. And you've been experiencing how the road is? Yes. What's your own view on the state of the road? It's very bad. It, it has been quite too long. Because we voted the previous lady in power out because of this road. And up to now, we are in the third year or so, and so the road has not been fixed. And we know the amount of money that has gone into this road. And we still don't understand why it's not fixed. This thing has to stop. They changed the color of this edifice because of the road. Because it was nicely painted white. But they changed the color because the road was not much. Yes. You're a good observer, it looks like. And, and it's still the same. Now, if, why is it that for you residents, who, who are also constituents of Lejokuku, you, you, you tend to use the construction of the road as, uh, a, 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 as the trump card? threatening the MPs or even government of the day that if you don't do this road, then I may not vote for you. <laughs> Actually, I was listening to you the, the Sunday you came here and the MP was making an, this thing that they invited, they invited a, a, a doctor here and the doctor life was threatened because of the bad nature of the road. So you can just imagine how dangerous the road be. One life lost is more precious than anything. You understand me? So the road has to be paramount in everything because it connects us to so many business areas. I know you brought your son today, but what will be your worst experience using this road? The experience are many, but... You have many of them? Yes. I'm comfortable. Because right now, I have to go and get something. I have to maneuver this road because of I'm, I'm, I'm avoiding the dust. You see, so the dusty nature of the road is even hazardous to our health. If the road is constructed before the end of the year, or let's say before election 2020, you'll still vote for the MP, won't you? Well, he's a good man. Uh, yes. uh, the road, as you said, should not be paramount in everything. But, 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 but that's your benchmark. Part of it. It's part of it. <laughs> well, thank you very much, and thank you for interacting with us. I'll be joined by MFA and uh, MFA Po, the distinguished MFA Po. But uh, in the meantime, we have to keep interacting. What's your name? David Tete. Um, I live at Tesh La Scala. La Scala. Yes, sir. And I see that, annoyingly, there's a certain frown on your face. Yeah. Why? In fact, this road is part of 
our former MP, which is Senator NDC member, we make very heavy, heavy campaign to vote out. And now, MPP is power. Okoboa is MP. And Okoboa has several promise, both radio, TV stations. And yes, still, we don't know what is going on. And in fact, what I can say is, we also learned the president himself boldly came and mentioned the loan that he has got from the Chinese. And he mentioned Teshin, this Lake Man Road. Are you sure you heard the president say that? Yes. And if the president has said this, the, the minister also contributed to it. And now, MP2 has also let us know that this road, even about three months ago, the MP gave us assurance this road will be built by May or June. But yes, still. And we don't know what is going on. But our source is that the minister, we are warning the minister. That's we, a threat. It's not a threat. Well, then what is it? We want to encourage him. Okay, you so to, I th to consider you, you are encouraging him. Yes, to consider that this hospital. And look, look, look at the, the road. L look at the pregnant woman, the old ladies. How, how can a pregnant woman be uh, passed on the uh, bumpy road? The, the children. And it's, we are fed up. We are, we are warning the minister to not disappoint the, the, the president. Not to disappoint the president and the MP. Thank you. Where you live and the, the distance between where you live and here, what would be your worst experience uh, trying to access the facility here? In fact, by so God grace, luckily we get Lekman here. We are happy. You mean the hospital? Yeah, the hospital. Now, how can a big hospital like this, and the main road, double road, it's not a single road, but it's a double road, and you see so many dust on the way coming. I, I, I wish I could paint my face a dust. I wish I could paint my, my face a dust to see on the television and see what is going on on, on this road. In fact, because of the old ladies and the pregnant women, if this road is not constructed, the minister will go march to castle, will march to Prester House and warn the president whether to sack the minister, whether I like it or not, this road, the minister has to give the money to our MP. To control this road for us. Well, the, the, the money doesn't have to be given to your MP because the MP, by the scheme of things, the, we, the, <laughs> we, we know that. Yeah. But the money is with the uh, minister. Minister, that's your understanding. Yes. But right now, we'll hand over to uh, Daniel Dadzi and the team. I can see Kojo Yangsen also there, and uh, they're ready. Kojo, good morning to you. And uh, I know that uh, the interaction will continue right in the studio. We have on the frontages or the forecourt of the Lekma Hospital. But on TV, we'll continue to do the transmission. Uh, and uh, you also get to know that the interactions and the sentiments that um, the citizens are harboring would always be there with them. Uh, uh, good morning to you. What's your name? I'm Olivia. Olivia. How are you? I'm fine. Uh, where do you live? I live around. Where, 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 where is around? At the back of a uh, pro-life pharmacy. Oh, but, that, but that's not too far from here. Yes. So if you're sick, you can just come to the Lekman Hospital. It just walk slowly. There's nothing wrong with it. The dust is too much here. So I, I don't even like coming here at all. Well, well, why? Uh, the road constantly, we had an interaction with the MCE. We had an interaction with the MP. Um, we we're told that it's going to be fine. No, we're, we're, it's going to be constructed very soon. Of course, there's a bit of delay. Yes, since uh, I think uh, last year, and they were saying that they will start. Even I learned uh, the China people has come, so soon they will start constructing the road. Up to now, they've not started doing anything on it. And we are suffering about the dust. If you go to my room now, every day I have to, 
ask my kids to uh, dance the place. Everywhere but but where pro life is, I'm not sure that you. Oh, no, we are in back of the hospital, so we are suffering a lot. So government should do something about it. It's very bad. We are suffering with our kids. Always does, does, does that we are getting uh, sick. So. The government should do something about it. Let, let, this thing is keeping long. Always they will tell us they will do the road, do the road. Up to now, nothing has been done about it. So they should do something about it for us. We are suffering. Let me ask you, though, what's your worst experience uh, with using the road? Whether for any daily activity. What's your, what's your worst experience? At times when it rains like this, if you come to this place, it's very bad. You can't even get a place to pass. Everywhere is uh, muddy. You can't even. You don't know where to even uh, step. Everywhere, everywhere, it's it, it's not good at all. Government should do something about it. It's not good when it's rain like this and you come. Even dri drivers are suffering a lot here. They can't even pass. Everywhere is dust, uh, dusty and uh, this thing. So they should do something about it for us. Thank you. What's your name again? I'm Olivia. Olivia, thank you. Welcome. I've enjoyed the interaction. Welcome. <laughs> Welcome. And uh, Pachawaya Frost, what's your name? Uh, um, Esther. Esther. Yeah. And you also live close by? No, my child is here. Oh, your child is here, sick? Yeah, sick. Okay, how old? She's 14 years. 14 years. Yes. And long, so on admission? Yes, almost one month. One month now? Yeah. And it means that you have to commute from the house here? To here, yes. Hey, your experiences, <laughs> tell me. Uh, to me, I think that dust is too much. You know, when you are even crossing to the, I think to get something, the, the, in fact, the dust is too much. It's too, it's too bad. I think uh, we are um, pretty with the government that place. You should do something about it. And because of the children too, the babies are affecting the baby. They tend to have cough and yeah. what they call the respiratory tract infection. Yeah, yeah. That so the, the, the medical people in the hospital told us that. So since you started visiting here uh, the last one month, uh, have you had your? I see that you have a baby. Have you? Has your baby developed any cold or something on the sort? Yeah, I think last week she, I think he was having a cold, cold, very strong cold. So, and sometimes you have to stay here for hours, right? Yes, I have to stay here by... I, I normally come here by 4.30, then I'll leave by 6 o'clock. Yeah. Well, 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 the distance between your place and here, is it long? Yeah, I live at Manet's Court. So that's the end of the road? Yeah, yeah, going to Manet, yeah. Mm. Going to I think you're going to the Spintest Road? Yes, please, yes, please. And from here to the end of the road, how bad? Very, very bad. Wow. Very, very bad. Very, very bad. Well, thank you very much. You are welcome. Mm. But um, the, the experiences of those who tend to visit the hospital is that they have to bring, that is for the drivers, they have to bring the, 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 the patients to the hospital. They have to use the road and make sure they make the entry. And... And sometimes the experiences are also not good. Well, usually the the drivers would have would have the the main pointers as far as the experiences are. But let me speak to you. So my cameraman will just come close and then we'll we'll be in a position. What's your name, sir? Mike Okoboy. Okoboy. Your name is Okoboy. Yes, yes. Oh, for once, I thought you were the MP. Yes, 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 yes. He's my uh, he's my young brother. Okoboy, uh, 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 younger brother. Yeah. Uh, no. Okay. 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 Government you are make a compare. So as for government government's main policy like free SHS, etc. Everybody is using. No, no, so no, no, so that one is uh, no, it's a normal social service. No, no, no I'm a GM. I can free SHS. What free one yeah? I'm a GM. I can one two man no yeah. 
Tessiman. You want the development of Tessiman? Yes. Hmm. Because uh, we we road be and uh, hospital area and call by inside the machines. Papa come and be me. Oh, na benin chunji. You are saying what you are not going to be able to have any work. You are not shipping money. You are going to go to one hand. Well, me ni jibo MPP alo NDC. Oh, na MPP no jimi. She will complain. Yes. Because it's a bad Yeah, so he says he's a, he's an MPP supporter, but he's still uh, at pains with the state of the road. And especially he says that the whole of Teshi and the adjoining communities, there seem not to be proper development. And I asked him, really, Gamay has, uh, has a central national policy of free SHS, which at least will put money in the pocket if you uh, listen to the argument, uh, among many others. And he says that, well, that's a central policy. Everybody's enjoying it, both... Um, supporters of NDC and MPP, so uh, it counts for it counts for nothing. No, miniji or last word. No, oba oba no no okay. Wo. In last word, there no ji. Min pa numu eva. Niji wa present there. I get min pa eva. Eba bo de ne chuno go wa gbe e ha wo. Because ke ni e chuni impe. Wo oba ni wo dumo no wa gbe bo tu wan hale. Hmm. Si mi ne MPP no ji mi. Si ga aba ni a chuno go. If your politics wa, you are ni e ma dumo no go no. Ni gbe bo tu wan hale. Then you are using as a trump card to to threaten government. They are not threatening government. Nothing has been done in You are not to go. And what now? She be money. You are go. Go no one. You are feminine. Red minister, but quite can be fine. See, what are you going to do? Only Okay, boy, thank you. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. <laughs> he says that yeah. he's a family of the MP yeah. and um, he's, a, he's a taxi driver. Let me just make way and make sure that he goes bye bye. bye. Yeah, enjoy the morning. But um, it's, a, it's a current um, state we have. But there are many people who will keep access in the services. This is a, a gear, let me repeat this a 7.5 kilometer road. So as you tend to look at the beginning of the road, as bad as it is, it stretches to way, 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 way up there, close to Manette or the Manette Junction. And it's where we have another section of the road that bad. So um, that's the current state that is. But in the meantime, we have to also give all the indications that the, the actions of the authorities would help in a long way to at least calm nerves of the residents who seem to be first time uh, 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 experienced people or experiencing the state of the road but again if you want to get interactive it's easy for you to do so facebook join news on tv at join news on tv on twitter and then when you're watching us live on youtube you can also go search for the channel my joy online tv we're doing this with joy 99.7 fm and uh, please go search for them on twitter as well joy 997 on facebook same Join 997, and uh, you can find them also uploading on my Joe Online TV uh, all of the uploaded videos from the studio and the and the interaction for today. Make sure that you add the hashtags Fix Lekma Now and Join News. Fix Lekma Now and Join News. Well, we have to go back to the studio. And Walker, there, there will be more live from the Lekma Hospital. Uh, but in all these conversations about fixing the road, we got the MP in the studio uh, this week, and here's his response to the concerns raised by the residents. I'd like to commend you for your remarkable, this to his, uh, the second secretary of his essay, the president of the Ghana, to commend you for your remarkable contribution towards the Ghana Beyond Aid agenda through your provision of meticulous service to His Excellency the President of the Republic of Ghana. I write to respectfully also to bring to your attention a 7.5 kilometer road under construction located in my constituency, the electoral constituency. The road contract was signed between Government of Ghana and Malin Investment Company Limited. The contractor, after having, after having worked on the road for about a year, demobilized and abandoned the project as a result of non-payment of certificates. The 7.5 kilometer road has not seen any works since last quarter of 2016. This road is a dual carriage road, the only road that connects Spintex Road directly to the beach road. Now, let me come to another program. The very bad state of the Teshi Lane has turned the Lekma Hospital into a white elephant that is avoided by both patients and doctors due to difficulty assessing the facility. Some pregnant women in the past have had their pregnancies terminated 
and their health put at risk by this road. Mr. P.V. Obin, of blessed memory, was transported to the Lekma Hospital on this road with a journey from the point of sudden illness to the hospital taking over 45 minutes instead of the less than 10 minutes that it would have taken if the road had been constructed. Look at what I said. Mr. Executive Secretary, I have visited almost every public officer with the capacity to do something about this road. From the Minister of Roads and Highways to the Budget Director at the Ministry of Finance, the Controller and Accountant General Department and all that. Let me just conclude. Now this is what I say. The Lejokuku constituency has 200 and 10,000 police stations. Over 80% of road users are in Sakumono, um, Nongwa, Spintes, Bachona. Over a million people stand to benefit or be protected if this road is fixed. I humbly appeal to your office to call an emergency meeting on the state of the tertiary link. This was 2018 April. And this, look at what I said. I said, I humbly appeal to your office to call an emergency meeting on the state of the tertiary. The possible continuation or termination of the contract with Mali Investment Limited in the face of legal impediments being encountered by the contractor and the consideration of an emergency plan on the road in preparation ahead of the rainy season. This was 2018 rainy season. It has passed. Another rainy season is about to pass. So, you know what? When I meet, I met the chief of staff. That's my mother, uh, Mrs. Prima. She tells me, Doctor, we all know your road is important. We are giving serious attention to it. I meet the minister. He tells me, Doctor, your road is on our radar. What I see is that there are challenges that they are having. I mean, talk about the ministry. What we have to do is to find out from the ministry what these challenges are. But for me, if my people complain, look, I'm a physician. If my people vote me out because of this road, I will not be surprised. A community filled with anger. <laughs> And the MP is not responsible for construction. If it becomes the urban road, we don't know government. We know our company. If this road is not fixed, then this, uh, the government should be ready to, for a serious demonstration. There are roads in the West Shape. On the road here, my brother. Thank you, All the roads linking to other parts of the communities are all in that state. Today you'll be running on this road, tomorrow you are at a shop. I mean, it looks as if this place is not part of Ghana. She says, too rough. You see, they make drop, 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 and that's very terrible. Now they look at how we get over here. It's crazy, man. And now, potentially dead. Just take a look at me. I'm even sick. We plead that they do something about these roads. What happened to a political promise to fix the roads? He promised us that when we, when we vote him into power, he will fix the road. Up to now, the road has not been fixed. The Super Morning Show and the Joy News team on the AM show are on the ground to ask the tough questions, speaking to residents, now speaking truth to power. Join us on all our social media platforms with the hashtag FixLekmaNow.